Hello, my dear beloved children. Today, I want to talk to you about a very delicate topic, which is nevertheless very important for you right now. I know that many of you feel guilty towards your loved ones because you have fallen far ahead of them spiritually and have stopped living with their common interests. Your family and friends gradually began to distance themselves from you and to you they began to seem uninteresting and alien. And no matter how much you convince yourself that there is a natural process of separating people by vibrations, your heart continues to ache and suffer from misunderstanding and sometimes even condemnation of your loved ones. So I want to give you some advice that will help you get rid of the feeling of guilt and harmonize the broken relationships with your loved ones. Do not forget for a moment that your soul is currently experiencing its most important and unique experience of transition from one dimension to another in the physical body of a person. Compared to the grandeur and majesty of this event, everything else should fade into the background, even relationships with your closest and dearest people. The fact that fate brought you together in this incarnation only means that these people helped your soul to go through the last and very important lessons that it did not get in its previous lives. It is quite possible that it was thanks to these lessons that she was able to reach the level of vibrations that would allow her to make the transition. As a rule, the more difficult and painful a person's life experience is, the more valuable and important it is for him, since it allows him to take not just a step, but a huge leap in his spiritual development. Accepting people as they are, without judgment or evaluation, is for many the biggest obstacle on the path to ascension. Just like getting rid of the feeling of guilt and responsibility for family and friends, these programs and stereotypes of behavior in society and family that have been implanted in your consciousness and subconscious for too long. The freedom to think and act as your heart tells you to has often been considered callous and selfish. People's behavior was forced into the narrow confines of decency, which sometimes boiled down to the ability to please others and adapt to other people's habits, interests, and desires. Self-sacrifice was considered the highest virtue and consisted in the fact that a person often sacrificed his own life for the sake of those with whom fate brought him together in this incarnation. In other words, he lived someone else's life, forgetting about himself. And if in the three-dimensional world this was encouraged and praised, then in the highest understanding of the purpose of man, such a life was lived in vain, since it gave little to his soul, not fulfilling the goals and objectives planned by it before incarnation. It is especially important to understand this now, because due to the stereotypes of behavior towards your loved ones, firmly rooted in your subconscious, you can deprive your soul of the invaluable experience of transitioning to the fifth dimension together with planet Earth. As a result, your soul will have to continue its long wanderings in the worlds of the third dimensions. Only remembering the missed opportunity to make an unprecedented leap in its spiritual evolution. This is exactly what you need to remember now, my dears leaving behind all the habits and behavioral stereotypes characteristic of the inhabitants of the three-dimensional world. You, the chosen pure and ancient souls, cannot afford to stumble at the last moment for the sake of young and inexperienced souls who have their own destiny and who still have a long and difficult path of spiritual development ahead of them. Don't let them drag you under the water. Stay above water, my dears. Love your loved ones, help them, but do not identify yourself with them. 
Don't look back. Move forward confidently towards your goal, keeping your vibrations high. Remember the greatness of the plans and goals of your soul. That's the only thing that matters now. The mother of the world, who tenderly loves you, spoke to you.